Hello, Junior Genius. We solve mysteries. Huh? Who? A famous fortune teller? Sounds like another mystery to me. The Hymn Upon Forest? Hold on a second. Let me take some notes. I've never heard of it before. Where? Malaysia? It all started when I met a famous fortune teller who told me of the magical staircase hidden in the Hymn Upon Forest. She told me the whereabouts of the hidden location, gave me directions, but also she warned me of the perils and dangers I must face. There, in the woods, spirits guarded the secret staircase. Also, animals, dogs, magical creatures, some small type of monsters. But I was up for the challenge. I took the directions, and here is my story. Kids, it's about a two hour ride to the Hymn Pond Forest. So let's see if we can get there before dark. I think we made it. We're down at the bottom of the staircase. So kids, uh, we made it here. And I'm not sure if you can see because it's pretty dark. We have to go all the way up there. So let's get moving. So it looks like we're good. Kids, now that we have been granted entrance into the secret place, we're going to go ahead and climb those stairs. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's probably about 500 stairs. So let's get moving. Halfway there, kids.
jump to the top. That's it, yup, that's what she said. Let's go up there and learn about the comma staircase. Kids, before we get started with the comma staircase behind me, let's do a quick review of commas in general and a complete sentence. So, let's talk about one comma. If we have one comma in a complete sentence, a comma really just connects two components of a sentence together and links them together. An independent clause and a dependent clause. Let's let, take a look at the sentence above here. I am in the him upon forest, comma, a creepy place. The first part, I am in the him upon forest, that's an independent clause, and that is just like a complete sentence. The second part, a creepy place, that is a dependent clause and is a fragment. The job here of the dependent clause, and this is the secret for tonight, the dependent clause is there to give you more information about what you just said earlier in the independent clause. Lots of times, what's right before the comma, that's going to be usually the most important thing, and then what's after the comma would be the, get the more information about it. You see how a creepy place gives you more information about the him upon forest? Believe me, this place is freaky. If you kids were here, you would definitely think I'm crazy. This place is very creepy, but very secret, and you'll see that in the next part here when we get into the comma staircase. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the comma staircase. Kids, let's take a look at the first example for the comma staircase. Here it is. The Tao Cham are elders, comma. We go down to the next step and look at the next component of the sentence. The first component you saw there, the Tao Cham are elders, that's an independent clause, and now you see dependent clauses. Remember, a dependent clause gives you more information about what you just said earlier in the independent. In particular, usually it will be the word right before the first comma. See it? Elders. Keep that in mind, kids. So what does the next component say? It says, selected from the wisest and most congenial. When you're wise, you're one of the elders. When you're congenial, congenial means getting along. When you get along, that takes experience. You're an elder. Look at it real close. That's a dependent clause. It gives you more information about what you just said earlier in the independent clause. In particular, the most important thing there is elders. Let's go down the stairs and take a look at the next clause. The next clause says, caring for the well-being of nature. Who cares for the well-being of nature? The elders. Does that make sense? Elders taking care? Well-being of nature? Who makes the laws to protect our na natural environment? Usually it's older people, kids, probably not. Look at that, that's a dependent clause. It gives you more information about the independent in particular up there. Elders, kids. Boom, boom. Let's go down to the next clause. It says, with knowledge of united community bonds, who has knowledge? The elders have knowledge. Does that make sense? Community bonds, community bonds, how do you bond together and make people united? By having somebody with superiority that has knowledge that you respect. It says the same thing. That is more information about the elders. Go down the sentence, take a look at the next clause. Here it is. They encompass the aspects to keep homeostasis between village life. They refers to who? You guessed it. Talks about the elders again. Homeostasis means keeping things static, keeping things level, keeping things good, clear, making sure there's no problems. No problems in the village. Who is there to keep the village from having problems? Usually the person that's in charge. 
and the person in charge, an elder. We go down to the next component, and the next component, the last part of our sentence says, the forest and the spirits who protect both. Who is going to protect the forest? The elders. And who is going to protect the spirits? The elders will protect the spirits in the forest, protecting both. An elder is there to protect kids. Look at this real close. Remember, independent clause, comma, dependent, 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 dependent. Just look back at what you just started earlier and say, don't get lost. The forests and the spirits, that's all going back to that independent clause there. Kids, example number one for the comma staircase. Kids, remember, the job of a dependent clause is there just to give you more information about what you just said earlier. So if you get lost, look back at the previous dependent clause or go all the way back to the independent clause itself and try and figure out from the context what they're talking about. You can't just start talking about something new in a sentence. If that's the case, you start to put a period there and start a brand new sentence. Kids, so there you have it. It's the comma staircase. Remember, independent clause, comma, dependent, 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 dependent. It's going to say the same thing. you got to just go back, look at the previous dependent clause. If you get lost, look back and take a look at your independent clause and see what the heck they're talking about up there because the dependent clauses is just adding on more information. Let's get on here. That's it for the comma staircase. Kids, also, if you take a look up here, very special night tonight, full moon. <laughs> Kids, I knew I heard something. Look, it's a giant 14-inch duke. It's like a monster gecko. Take a look at him. He is, ties believe that they're ghosts. Duke. Duke. Akio, are you there? Good. Did you bring your tennis racket? We may need it to whack some monsters. See, it's got yellow eyes. Um, it's staring right at me. Let's get the heck out of here. Thanks for watching, kids. The comma staircase. See you next time. Get out of here.